the ability to collaborate with others or your level of team working skills is going to have a close relationship with how successful you are in your career. If you um, don't have the ability to work in teams then you're going to find it very difficult to progress in your career. For some people that's a very natural thing to be able to do and for other people it's less natural because we're all different and we have different strengths and weaknesses. There are some rules where it's going to be more it's going to be a, a more clear requirement to be part of a team but really in all jobs all industries you're going to have to work with other people and you're going to have to work in multidisciplinary teams you're going to have to work with people who have different strengths than you different personalities from you people you might not even get on with but as part of that team you're going to have to focus on striving towards kind of um, a connected goal that you need to achieve as part of that team what students generally don't recognize, a lot of the time anyway, is that you, you have already demonstrated teamwork and skills in different ways, whether that's through school activities, sporting activities, group work at university. But the important thing for you is to recognize, based on you working in those teams, um, what is your level of teamwork can be and what has prevented you from being really effective, if that is the case. Is there, um, have you been not been forward with your ideas? Have you felt... Um, disconnected from the team but it's understanding why that is and what action can you take to move that forward it might be that you just need to be more assertive it might be that you need to be more motivated it might be that you need to get involved in more activities through the likes of the Ulster Edge Award that will get you involved in more teams working with more people different people from different backgrounds and that naturally will improve your team working skills